Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. We're going to finish up today with a special selection which is where one of you tell me exactly what it is I need to check out. Today's special selection comes at us from Eric. My special selection request is The Ascension by Glenn Branca. It comes from the album of the same name which happens to be one of my all-time favorites. It was released in 81 on the tail end of the no-wave scene in New York. The ensemble has four guitarists, one of which is Lee Ronaldo of future Sonic Youth fame, playing simultaneously all tuned in this very unconventional matter, which creates this wall of sound that I personally find enjoyable. Alright, no-wave, wall of sound, odd tunings, four guitars. I have no idea what, what's in store for me. Let's dive into this. We are going to check out The Ascension by Glenn Branca. A little bit of white noise on the bottom of this. So our lower end guitar has just been droning on these two notes. The drummer just starts and stops when they want. Trying to figure out the drummer's placement in this. It seems to run counter to what the other four guitars are doing with this textural wall of sounds.
can't hear the lower guitar anymore, but I wonder if it's doing the same two notes that it was prior. No, I, I honestly thought we were going to go somewhere else. And to just continue that as if we never stopped playing. Okay.
what a strange transition. You know, the track prior is called Light Field, and then in parentheses, in consonants. I don't know if it actually is a consonant sound, but why couldn't we have done that one? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, jokes aside, this was a very interesting slow burn avant-garde track that heavily utilizes uh, distortion and... Uh, dissonance to craft a very specific sound sphere. I'll be honest though, that's kind of my only read on this. Uh, the whole time I was listening to this, I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> and, uh, It never clicked for me. I feel like this track needs just a little bit more context that I don't have. So I tried to apply this to other ideas of ascension. What is ascension? What? How could this music be representative of those concepts? And I came upon the idea of ascension from one state to the next, a growth in power or in statue or ranking to ascend to the next level, and yeah, that is typically a bit more of a, a victorious vibe. It doesn't have to be victory per se, but something more celebratory or positive. It, it's about moving from one state to the next higher up. There's usually hard work that goes into that and the ascension is the reward. This doesn't seem very rewarding. <laughs> uh, there's... Well, I guess we'll get into that in a second. The other type of ascension I could think of would be the biblical ascension. And for some reason, as I say that, I don't even think it's called the ascension anymore. But maybe it is. We're going to roll with it in, just in case <laughs> my gut was right on this. Um, in which case... Oh, no, it's the rapture, isn't it? Well, I think we can still view that through a similar lens, though. Uh, even if this... Even if the, you know, ascension is not a metaphor or a, or a swapped out term for the rapture itself, the idea of being plucked from the earth to be brought to heaven, which again, to me, if you're religious in that way, would be a positive thing. This is what the whole purpose of the earthly test is, so that you can go to heaven. And this doesn't seem positive in that the track to me 
is it, it teeters on two different ideas. We have the first, which was my gut reaction to a lot of this, which is terror. Dissonance is often utilized in pop culture to showcase fear or a lack of safety, um, danger, which I guess is a lack of safety, uh, villains. Uh, I mean, even it goes all the way back to the stabbing sound in Psycho, I think it was, uh, Hitchcock's film. Um, it utilizes two violins, I think it is, with intense dissonance for each of the stabs. Um, like, dissonance is so hard-coded into the concept of horror that when I hear this, my immediate reaction is terror. This is not supposed to be something comfortable. It's depicting something that is painful or dangerous or tense. It's very stressful for me, even just coming at it from a musical perspective. I'm not a huge fan of dissonance um, just as a whole. Sometimes it works for me, majority of times it doesn't. Um, so I was not in a positive place listening to a lot of this. But there's another use of dissonance in pop culture as well, and it is the unknown. A lot of the times we can use dissonant tones, uh, dissonant sounds, dissonant chords to craft music for something that should not be understood by our mere mortal minds. The triple M. <laughs> Uh, and I wonder if that's what they're going for here. I have no idea how to tie this to the title of The Ascension, but it does feel like, I don't know, music of another dimension, music of uh, another... species uh we just it's not human in a lot of ways if it is like i said our our closest human element to it is terror or fear but there are elements especially once we hit the final four minutes of this track where a lot of the guitar dissonance and noise sort of just blended into the background it became that texture that we could put drum solos over kind of weird but again if we're supposed to be personifying something that is unnatural to the human experience something other dimensional or other planetary other whatever it makes perfect sense to approach this unusually where the drums would take center uh, stage and you would need four guitars to craft the foundational work for the drums. It ends up feeling upside down to me. Usually you would have some sort of pyramid with the guitars, foundations, harmonies, melodies, counterpoint, um, and the ones at the lower end, your foundational works, your chordal works, they're going to be wider and as you go up closer to melodic and counterpoint ideas they're going to have a narrower sound and your drums and bass and anything else that's going to be representative uh, re representative of the rhythm section the foundational components are going to be at the bottom of your pyramid and uh this is the opposite of the, that all the guitars are kind of lead at the same time which when they get put together, turn into foundation, which is just, what? And then there is no hierarchy of the guitars. They just become the foundation as one, Voltron style. And the drums get put at the top of the pyramid as the anemic sound that is the lead melody. It is bonkers. 
it absolutely works in this context. But it is not how these things are traditionally done, which kind of lends itself even further into this element of describing the unknown through music. So we have sounds that feel tense or stressful, uh, and these sounds are combining with other sounds to create this inability to recognize what's going on. Not just the fact that all of these sounds together are creating this wall of noise, but that once that wall is constructed, it's difficult to hear the individual elements of it now. There was even one point when I mentioned, I wonder if that low guitar is still going between those two notes like they started on. I can't hear it individually anymore. It got sucked into the mass. And so this all could tie into an idea of ascension as well. But it would be less of an, an idea of ascension that we are familiar with. Not necessarily ascending to knighthood, or ascending to the 1%, or, you know, getting a raise at your job and moving up to the next tier or whatever like that. None of these, well, comparatively mundane styles of ascension. Um, this is more of an ascension to another plane of existence, so that this might be ceremonious music to denizens of this other plane or dimension. Um, but to our minds, we can barely perceive it. It makes no sense to us. So it kind of works within both of those realms. If that's what Glenn Bronca is going for, honestly, I have no in idea what their intent is. For all I know, they wrote this song first and just said, oh, the ascension sounds good. And someone else is like, really? I don't get it. And he was like, you don't have to get it. It's just the name of the song. They're like, oh, let's roll with it. <laughs> you know, I, I have no idea what went into crafting this track. I don't know what their angle is on it. At best, I'm grasping at straws because, like I said at the beginning, I don't have a strong read on this at all. In fact, that is the end of my analysis. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of guitar lines that come together into a wall of sound where it's basically one big multifaceted texture that the drum occasionally plays on top of and at a few key points in time everybody just quits playing that's the song <laughs> and it it's just I don't know. It's just, I don't know. That's going to be the description at the top of the thumbnail. <laughs> I hope I come up with something better by the time I make that thumbnail, but... Huh. <sighs> wow. Those are my thoughts, albeit limited thoughts, on Glenn Bronca's The Ascension. This is where y'all come in. Let me know what you thought of this one, if it stood out to you. Uh, who requested this? Eric. Eric. If you want. I am all ears for a little bit more context on this. Uh, not necessarily the track. I mean, if you do have like... I don't know, a link to an interview or something about this track, and I can get the authorial intent behind it. I'm down for that. But if you have anything you'd like to add about what you enjoy out of it, or maybe your angle, your 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 perception of what's going on here, I'm all ears. I know you said you enjoy it, you find it enjoyable, but that's uh you're a bit vague about that. <laughs> and I'm uh, no judgment, of course. I'm just kind of curious what uh, what you get out of this. And that goes for anybody else who enjoyed this as well. I can't say I enjoyed a single moment of this. It was interesting on a purely adventurous element of never hear... Well, I've heard stuff like this, but not having any idea what's going on and waiting for things to happen and nothing really does. So just like that, the novelty of a first listen was fine.
but I will probably never listen to this again. If someone put it on, this might be one of the few times I'm like, hey, how about we put something else on? You know, because usually I'm like, you know, I, it's not really my cup of tea, but if it was on, I'd listen to it. N I would probably speak up on this one. Uh, and that's not to say it's bad. It's just really far outside of what I enjoy listening to. So that makes me even more curious about people who do enjoy this and if they can put into words what they enjoy about it or why they enjoy it. Anyways, if you, that was like the biggest, the biggest uh, paragraph I've ever said about the comment section before. But if you have anything in that vicinity or anything else you'd like to add, put it down in the comment section. Above the comments, there's a description box with the link to Linktree. Take you to this menu right here. Has links for everything related to the channel. You can find my music, a link to the Discord server, uh, multiple ways to support the channel, and a bunch of other stuff. Go ahead and check it out. Um, this is weird. Okay. Like, subscribe, or ring the bell. <laughs> I greatly appreciate all the music is infecting the video. It's it's unknowingness has made the video glitch. I don't know. That was weird. Um that wraps it up for today. I'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 p.m. UTC, as usual. Uh, this week, this has been a week, and it's only half over. I'm kind of scared what the last two days are going to bring us. I'm, I'm stoked for Friday, because I got to choose. And there's some really cool stuff I want to check out. We're going to look at it on Friday, but... I mean, that's our third Friday video. We still have four videos before that that you guys have picked. And, like, this has been a rough week for me. So, <laughs> let the rest of the week be a little better. Uh, until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical, of the music you listen to. And have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos.